Welcome back to Truly Heal and Healing at Home with Ozone. In this section, we look at how to treat sinus, all your respiratory system with ozone in a safe way. Now you've learned from dangers in ozone that you are not supposed to breathe it in. So it's a very important exercise that you train this two or three times before you do it, because that makes it safe. Now it's very easy, it's fast, effective, and it's cheap. And I tell you what, I had people that have sinus problems, you know, clogged up sinus problems, headaches, and all sorts of things for years, and they couldn't get rid of it. And then they started to use ozone, and they do it two times a day, and they do that for about three, four days, and it's all gone. All the snot comes out, and you wouldn't believe what comes out. You know, it's pretty disgusting, but it's an incredible exercise to disinfect the whole area and to relieve you from, you know, old latent infections that you have. It's totally safe, can be applied three to four times per week, and you can do it even two or three times per day. Now you can see here in the image, you have those pockets down here, you have in between or behind your eyes, and then all the upper area. And that can be filled with pus, that can be filled with bacteria loads that outgas and, and produce a lot of toxic waste into your head and you want to get rid of that. So that's why you do it. Now, wash nasal cavity with saline solution by using a syringe or neti pot. Have you ever done that? It's a very simple thing. Neti pot in one nose and out the other. And it, there is plenty of videos on how to do that. A saline solution is really great to get a lot of the snot already out. And once you've done that, you fill those 20 milliliter syringes, and I've got mine over there now. I'll show you in a moment. You fill them with ozone, and then you can do it with 10 milligram per liter. So you can go to the lowest concentration, then inhale deeply. And I show you that really, this is most important. See, you don't want to get it into your lungs, but you want to get it into your sinus. So what you do is you inhale very deep, now your lungs are full, nothing can go in. And now you would blow the oxygen into your nose, hold the air, and it's really sitting all up here, and then you breathe out. And by breathing out, you release all the ozone that is in your nasal cavity out into the air. And I recommend you do that on the balcony, in the garden, you know, by a window where it's easily dispersed. So don't do it in a room, do it outside, all right? So inhale deeply, hold your breath so that the gas mixer does not get into the respiratory duct, into your lungs. Intensively, and this is something I'll show you, blow O3 through the nostrils, quickly close the nostril with the other finger for 10 seconds. So when you have a syringe, you just go and shoot it up all the way as far as you can, and then you close your nose and keep it in there so that it can start to react and work. And then you breathe out with your full lungs. You have plenty of capacity to blow everything out. Exhale through the nose and the mouth. The number of daily procedures can be five to 10. That's German practice. That's what they do in Germany as a general treatment at home with patients that have um, very, very deep rooted sinus problems. Have a few training procedures without the ozone so that you get into the practice, you know how to work it before you fill the mixture in. All right, now let's just move over to the table. I fill a vial and then I go out in the garden and show you how I do it myself. All right, let's go. All right, now let's look at how we do ozone for sinus safely. You remember from the danger area where we spoke about dangers of ozone, you don't wanna breathe it into your lungs. So, sinus is directly connected to your lungs. That's the only risky area where you need to be careful. So what do we do? Very simple. We fill up ozone, about 10 to 15 milliliters, into the vial. And I'll show you that in a moment how you do it. But I want you to dry train. Do a few exercises before you fill the ozone so that you feel confident in doing it, right? So you fill about this much ozone into your syringe and then you hold it like that. The purpose is to blow very fast that ozone up into your nasal cavity. So by doing, inserting it into your nose 
and you can shoot it up as fast as you can and you hold the other nostril close. But then you would breathe it in. So we don't want that. So process is very simple. Go in and go. Fill your lungs to maximum that nothing goes in anymore. And then you set on. and blow it all out. Very simple. If your lungs are full, you can't breathe in more. You can only breathe out. And that's the exercise. So fill up just with fresh air, without any ozone. And you do the same again on the other side. All gone. If you do that by the window, you do it outside in the garden, no problem at all. It's all gone and you don't feel anything. You have two syringes, which means you can fill up both at the same time. Go outside, nose, nose, done. Very important, breathe in before to maximum capacity, then blow it up, hold your nostrils closed, and then blow it out. And that's the whole process. Now let's do that practically on how it works, because it's a little bit of a juggling. If we have the flow rate at one half to get a lower concentration of 23 milligrams per liter, which is maximum of what you want, or even three quarters of a liter, that's quite fast. So you want to have that in the right sequence. So what you do is you screw your syringe on, now what I do is I turn on the device. Now as soon as oxygen will come through, it starts to convert. I open and close the bottle because we know, see, it produces already a lot. Now what I do is I open the screw and turn the device off at the same time. Now this is filled with ozone. Now if I hold it this way, it will stay inside because it's heavier than air. If I walk around like that, ozone flows out because well, if it's heavier than air, it will leave. So always hold it this way or hold your finger on top and that way it's safe. Now what you would do is you take that outside in the garden, hold it like this, fresh air, blow it up your nose, hold it close with two hands, let it work as long as it can and then you breathe it out and blow it out and that's all you need to do. It's a safe and proper treatment as long as you don't breathe it into your lungs. All right. Now I will keep that, do it outside, but for now sign up to our YouTube channel Healing at Home to learn all the other treatments that we will show you or go to trulyhealer.com and sign up for Healing at Home and you'll get a whole range of different treatments, different protocols, different tests. We'll explain you exactly how to find pathogens, how to find all the different infections, how to find toxicity, and then how to get rid of it in a very, very intense training program that you can get absolutely free. All right, see you there.